Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about some notes related to Bohr's atomic model and this inadequacy. Um, first, we will talk about the notes uh, related to Bohr's atomic model. Uh, during Bohr's uh, study for his atomic model, he studied the uh, distances between the energy level and he found that the distances between each energy level and the nucleus is not equal. And so each energy level has its own amount of energy. And this energy depends on how far the energy level from the nucleus. Or in other words, it depends on the radius of the energy level. Now for that one, its energy depends on its radius. And of course, it's more than this one because the radius here is more by this uh, distance. He also found that the electron which orbits the nucleus in its energy level doesn't move to the next level unless it gains a whole quantum one quantum and the quantum is the amount of energy needed by the electron to move from one energy level to another this quantum equals the difference between the energy of this energy level and this one. So say if this was 30 and this was like 16, so the quantum will be 40. And in any other conditions, the electrons won't move from one energy level to another. So say if this was 7 or 8, this is impossible for the electron to move from this energy level to that one. And there is nothing called half quantum. There's only one quantum unit. One quantum unit or zero quantum unit. And as we've just said, this unit depends on the uh, difference between the energy of the level where the electron goes and the level where the electron was originally found. Okay. Um, another thing is that the energy level in Bohr's atomic model can be represented by a staircase. And say the electron was found here. So, in order for the electron to jump from one uh, step, let's say this one, two, three, four, five, six, for the electron to jump from two to three, it needs one quantum. And we can notice that the distance of each step decreases as we go farther from the uh, nucleus. So that the distance between the energy level decreases as we uh, go further from the nucleus. So, we can also conclude that the electron can only uh, make some uniform movement. It can only go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. So we have only 6 movement for the electron or 6 places so that the electron can go from 3 to 2 not um, to a middle distance between both of them, just certain points where the electron can go. So um, these are some notes about Bohr's atomic model. Bohr's atomic model had a lot of useful contributions in finding the atomic structure because it explained the hydrogen 
spectrum and it refused the idea of emission of radiations no emissions of radiation while the electrons orbit the nucleus in their ground state and and it introduced the idea of uh, quantized energy for the electrons so that each electron has a quantity of energy that can be calculated and known okay so these are the contributions of Bohr's atomic model but this uh, but this model wasn't good enough to explain the atomic structure for some reasons. First, it only explained the atomic structure for hydrogen, only hydrogen, the simplest atom. It even failed to explain the structure for the helium which contains only two electrons, it's very simple, and yet it failed in explaining the structure of this simple atom. Also, during his study, Bohr studied the electrons as um, particles and he didn't study the electrons with them with their wave properties so that the electron is a particle already okay but it has some wave properties he ignored these he didn't study the electrons based on these another thing is that Bohr said that it's possible to uh, locate the uh, place or the position of an electron and its speed at the same time while well, this is practically impossible for example I am noticing a, an electron orbiting in an orbit or an, in an energy level and I say at the 11th second I found the electron at that point and its velocity was say 100 meter per second so this is practically impossible but he said that it's possible well it wasn't And finally, he said that the electron is a particle orbiting in a planar surface. A planar surface means a 2D surface, like, like this paper. He said that the um, electron orbits in an orbit like that, just a 2D. He didn't put his assumption that there is a uh, z-axis. So he said that the hydrogen was a planar surface, while actually it's a three-dimensional atom. So there's the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. The planar surface only contains the x-axis, and the y-axis, while well, the three-dimensional has z-axis. So these were the defects of the Bohr's atomic model, and that this is the reason for its inadequacy. So the scientists began to research more and more and more till they reached the modern atomic theory, and um, they made the modern atomic model 
And that's what we will talk about in the next time. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you.